Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 92. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 125 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So I have a question for you. Yes. In this marriage, isn't everything supposed to be 50-50? <laughs> I guess. I it's mean, supposed to be 50-50. But if there is like any room for more, that it goes to me. Okay. Well, here's my question. Yes. I made a pop of, pot of coffee. Okay. That was 12 cups. That means you get six cups and I get six cups or like one and a half giant cups. Well, my cup's bigger. But I went to get some and there was like, I barely was able to fill my cup. It was really good. This is a new flavor. This is the new flavor. Has it got cherries in it? It is chocolate covered raspberry from Bones. It's like one of their seasonal flavors. And I, I think it's like one of the best. It is. Like it's up there with Bananas Foster for me. It is really good. But I got to tell you, if I saw something raspberry, I probably would not pick it. So I'm glad right. that you picked it because I probably would have been like, uh, I don't know if I like raspberry. But it's leaning to the cherry for me and it, I like it. Some of the flavors on the Bones copies really come through. And some of them are Pretty like. Pretty muted. They're kind of muted. In fact, I saw somebody in our Facebook group was actually asking about that and saying, what do you think that is? And they were questioning, because we've talked about on keto, your taste buds change. Yes. And sometimes things are just much sweeter. I don't know if it's necessarily the case with the Bones coffee. I think it's just the amount of flavoring that's hitting the beans. And But some of them are just like, this one is just a, a punch you in the face. The flavor is there. And the bananas one the is bananas like that for Foster me. Is that. The peanut butter and jelly one is like that, although you are not a big fan of that flavor. It's not it, It's not my favorite. But you do taste peanut butter and jelly. Yes, they, they've they nailed it. But it's kind of like, you know, some of the stuff we find at Aldi's where it's like correct, right. accurate, but like in this form, I'm not loving it. So I don't know if I want to drink a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in my coffee cup. See what I'm saying? Like accurate, but I don't know if it's for me. Oh, balls. Balls. It's Christmas time. It is. And we're sitting in front of our Christmas set, which and we're, the kids decorated for us. And we're in the middle of our 12 days of keto. Yeah. If you're new to our channel, maybe this is the first time you're seeing us. We are right now in the middle of 12 days of keto where we live stream every single day at 8 30 p.m and so far we've had nush and we've had redmond we've had keto chow um we had zero. chalk zero and we've got a few more days of this so make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you hit that little bell button so that you're notified when we're gonna go live you know we try to go live at 8 30 p.m eastern time but you know sometimes technology well and not only have we had some amazing giveaways from some great sponsors that we love, but the community yes. has been so much fun because, you know, you watch a Christmas movie or you hear a Christmas song or you have a Christmas tradition. It means so much more when you can share it. You mm -hmm. can talk about it with people. And, you know, this year we're not going to as many parties and outings as we were in past years. So you want to talk about Christmas at Christmas time, but like if you don't see people... Right. You miss out on that. Yeah. And I will say this, like if, if you're enjoying the 12 days of keto, please do us a favor. Use the links down below. Say thank you to the different sponsors. They are not paying us to put them on there. We went to all of these different companies and said, hey, we'd like to do the 12 days of keto. Give back to the community a little bit. Is there something that you can give us to give away? Yeah. So they're not paying us to do it. They're, they're sponsoring for each video is they're giving us a product to give away to you guys. And the way they know that you found us or found them is by using the link down below. So please, we appreciate you using those links. If you don't want the product, obviously don't buy it. Right. But if it's something you're going to buy, use the link. Also, people ask us all the time, like, how can we support the channel? And that's another way is by using the links. 
Same thing with Amazon. If you go to our Amazon store, even if you don't buy something linked in our Amazon store, go buy something else after clicking on our store, it gives a little bit of money to the channel. Not much, but enough to help pay for cameras, things like that. Oh, Joe, I have a possible stress situation. First of all, before I talk about my stressor, I do want to say happy Hanukkah. We yes. have a lot of friends that are celebrating Hanukkah. That's right. We're right in the middle of Hanukkah too. But I was thinking when I was looking at the date, we are very close to Christmas and I have almost nothing purchased. Okay. So this is bad. Christmas is coming, whether I'm ready for it or not. Usually I'm that person that's done shopping by October. Well, usually we're Black Friday shoppers and we didn't do it this year because the stores are really weird. But you know what? Our kids are older. It'll be easy. We'll do some online shopping. But I'm curious, how many of you guys are like last minute shoppers? Because we're usually like... I don't know, kind of along the way shoppers and then those couple of final gifts like last minute, like we hit the very last second. Like usually your present from me to you are last second and I have to do it that way. Cause I'll find it. Not that you'll find it, it's cause I'm gonna give it to you. Like I bought her a new laptop. I couldn't wait for it's, Christmas. Yeah. I gave you, it to her a month before Christmas. Gonna have nothing to unwrap on Christmas morning. But I did have a reason for giving you it early, and that was because it was replacing your iPad. Yes. I gave your iPad to Caleb, uh -huh. and then I took Caleb's iPad and I sold it. Yes. And I knew I could get more money for it selling it now rather than waiting until after Christmas. And I've actually watched the prices of those things going down and down. I sold it on OfferUp, and like, a week before it was selling for like a hundred dollars more. So oh. sometimes you just have to get the timing right. So that was my excuse for giving you your Christmas present early. I love I love that you have like a backstory to like legitimize it. Just it just means I have to go find more things to make you cry. I bought my Elfster present. Mm -hmm. You brought your Elfster present. We got that like December 1st. Yes. And the Chris, our Christmas angel tree project child got that done because mm -hmm. I don't want to like put undue stress on the person that's distributing those presents. I want to make sure they have it nice and early. But everybody else in our life, sorry. I guess you're getting like a, a, a email gift card. Speaking of Elfster. Yes. I have enjoyed, I was going through, looking at all the comments, but all week long I have enjoyed seeing everybody posting their Elfster presents in the Facebook family group. Yeah. And I have to say like, you guys are awesome. I mean, I know it was supposed to be like a 10 or a $15 limit, and you got every single person like is going like off and just getting a lot of cool little things, really making that $15 stretch. And it's just so awesome to see the family environment that we've built. And that's the other reason that we started up our Discord. So if you want even more to Crazy Keto's family, we have a Discord now. There's a link for it down below. And somebody made a they they made a good comparison. Like, what is it? It is a continuous online group chat. It's way more funner than that. It is much more fun than way a group chat. Way more funner but than that. But you get to talk to people in real time is my point. But it's not going to like attack you in the middle of a business meeting. <laughs> like ding, 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 ding. Like, no. Because you can turn it off. Exactly. That's why it's better than a group chat. But, it, but it's it, awesome. But it's nice because, you know, you're up at different times. I feel like you get out of a schedule in December in a way that you don't do any other time of the year. Maybe you have to get up early because you don't want the kids to see the presents that you're wrapping. Or maybe mm -hmm. you're staying up late because you have to to do some work and get ahead so that you can take some time off during the Christmas season. And somebody's up. Yeah. Somebody's on there and, and awake and, and available to like chat with and it's just nice. And it's a great place if you need an accountability partner, you can yeah. jump on there and there's almost always somebody in there and say like, hey, I'm struggling and they can talk you off of the ledge. Yeah. Speaking of family and group, we hit one million views on our channel this week. What I got really excited about was we were in the middle of a live stream when you realized it. Yeah. Because nothing, you know, there is there is no like celebration without you guys. That's right. Because it's all about you. That's what makes it. I, so. I am still like in shock. A million views and we, we have 13,000 subscribers. We don't have a half a million subscribers. We don't have some ridiculous number. But what we have is a very tight-knit family, yeah. which is what we wanted, and we love you guys, and we want to say thank you to guy, you guys, and we are going to put together 
some type of a giveaway after the 12 days of keto to celebrate 1 million views. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the bell button so you're notified when we do that. Cause I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna contact some different companies. We're gonna put together a winner take all box to celebrate this. Ooh, I like but that. But I don't wanna make it, let it interfere with the 12 days. So yeah. who knows how many views we'll have by the time we get to that. That's so exciting. I just saw, I've got this sitting here, keto chow. The new flavor. Yeah. If you haven't been watching our live streams, this is released now. You can buy apple pie. It's a really good flavor. And I have to be honest, we got to try the apple pie at first. And I remember when it first came in, I'm like, eh, right? I mean, it's not going like to translate that, like, well. You were like that with s'mores. Like when s'mores, when they sent it to us, but first time we tried it, we were like, eh, I don't know about this. And then we tried it with butter and it was good. Apple pie came through and I'm like, is it going to be awesome? I don't know if I'm going to like that. Is this going to be barbecue chicken flavored keto chow? I just didn't think it was going to be good. And it's honestly like one of my best favorite flavors now, especially warm. If you want a warm yes. drink. Like growing up as a kid, I used to drink warm milk at night. Like I like How it. Cute. It's just, just heat it up a little bit. Don't make it too hot because then you destroy the vitamins and stuff. But you can heat this up, drink it a little warm, and it is like apple pie. It really, really is a good flavor. It's the perfect one to come out during the winter months. Yeah, I know they worked really hard to get it out for this time. So there's a link down below. That'll get you 10% off. Also, flavor of the week this week is chocolate mint, which is another good flavor. It's a great flavor. That's 10% off. But again, if you use our link down below, that gives you 10% off of everything. So, But I always like having, you know, almost like my attention drawn to a particular flavor mm -hmm. so that I don't forget and miss out on it because chocolate mint is one that I probably wouldn't have tried. Right. Because I, you know, sometimes chocolate mint doesn't, doesn't do it for me. You always have liked chocolate mint, but it has to be a really good, almost like leaning to sweet. The, the mint can't overpower everything else. And I think that keto chow has like a perfect blend. Right. I, I was looking if I had something here, but I don't have it here. Anthony and I just tried this peppermint bark that was in the keto box. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna leave a link for it right up over Rachel's head. But it's funny, like there was a peppermint bark in there and we're like, oh yes, because I love peppermint he bark. Like loves Andy's candies, peppermint. I used to go buy a box of Andy's candies and sit there and I would unwrap them all at once because I didn't want to like unwrap it and then eat and then have to wait to unwrap it. So you unwrap a whole wow. bunch of them at once, right? And then you can just like, come on. Got a carb issue? Oh, I absolutely had a carb <laughs> issue. I was the same way with like- I don't have to be bothered with all this unwrapping. Well, like like the Hershey's Kisses. Mm -hmm. I never wanted to unwrap one, eat it, and then have to go back and unwrap. I would unwrap like 10 of them and then I would enjoy them. So the day that they started selling them unwrapped in like a bag, it was probably not a great day probably. for your like no. health goals. No, I mean- Because it was like, all right, finally. Now in my life- Stop slowing me down. I love when something comes individually wrapped because it helps me with my <laughs> portion control. Slow but down. I didn't, hey, I was almost 300 pounds. I didn't know better then. Yeah. Well, I knew better. I just didn't want to know better. Right. But anyway, we tried this peppermint bark and we were really both excited about this. Mm -hmm. And then when you tried it, you're like, Hmm. Because at first the chocolate was really good. Right. And then you're like, kind of odd. Because there wasn't enough peppermint oil in there. Wow. So it was just enough to make the chocolate not taste that great. <laughs> but not enough to make you feel like you were eating peppermint bark. Sometimes when you taste stuff, do you think to yourself, like, what was the focus group I know. for this? I know. That someone, like, has this and, and they're like, we've nailed it, guys. I think we've nailed it. I think we've perfectly screwed up the chocolate and also screwed up the mint. Great job. Wrap That's it up, exactly everybody. What it was like. Let's ship this out. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Okay, enough about chocolate mint because now I want chocolate mint. <laughs> Just chocolate mint, but good chocolate mint. But good chocolate mint. You know what? Let's do this. Let's take a quick commercial break and then we can come back with our comments, our subscriber of the week, and all of that good stuff, because Keto on the Couch is all about our subscribers. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, first up is our Keto College Adjunct Professor of the Week. And if you're new to our channel, this is somebody who's been putting like inspirational posts in either the comment section or on our Facebook group. And we like to just single somebody out or pick something that's 
just we found inspiring this week. There's been a lot of competition. There has been, but lots of inspiration. This one here, I really, really appreciate it. And it was from Paula. Hey Paula. Paula wrote, I know the shutdowns are not ideal, but right now I'm listening to my son record a voice lesson. It's for his college voice class, and I'm realizing without the shutdown, I would not be blessed to hear him sing as much as I've gotten to this past month. I love that and I can't like amen that more because mm -hmm. for parents of adult kids, that's been our experience too. I feel like this entire year and my goodness, 2020 has been upside down to say the least, but I feel like we've gotten some bonus time with our children right. that we may not have had without right. 2020. What I took away from this was no matter what's going on, find the positive. Yes. Like there are so many things where you can just kind of look at something and and be negative about it. Like oh, are yeah? you a half glass, you know, a glass is half full or a glass is half empty kind of person? And I feel like especially this year, we have to train our brains to be the glass is half full. Find the positive in something. I mean, yeah, it stunk being stuck at home this year and it stunk, yeah. stunk like seeing all the businesses shut down. But let's see the positive. Online businesses went through the roof. Yeah. Like people who had small businesses where they were creating things and selling them online, it really helped them out. For us, I look at like our relationship improved so much. I mean, we had oh, yeah. a good relationship, but I feel like it's even better now because we got to spend time together. We started camping, finding other things. When it comes to your health journey, you know, hey, you know what? I know I put on a couple pounds, but I also started learning some other things about myself. I started also being able to get some other kinds of exercise and finding different things. So yeah. finding the positive in something is what's really inspiring about this post. Yeah. Okay, let's get into our uh, subscriber of the week. And this week's subscriber of the week is actually related to one of our past subscriber of the week. Okay. And it's Alex Hittipole, hey, Christopher's Alex. brother. Um, he says, I cannot credit the keto lifestyle for all my success, but a good portion of it and the life I plan to continue because of it. I had gone to Holiday World and was not able to ride rides with my kids and decided to lose weight and keep it off. I had lost weight in the past and then when I quit paying attention, it came back plus some. I started with Slim Fast, kind of. I used Slim Fast as a meal substitute for two meals, had three snacks, 100 calories each, and a dinner meal, whatever I wanted, no calorie restriction. I was also doing intermittent fasting even though I had no idea that was a thing. In March 2020, I was down 60 pounds, then COVID. I quit running and started eating more. Once I realized I could no longer wear some of the pants that I had been wearing, I remembered my goals and got back on track. I then began to think long-term in June 2020 and um, had seen how well my brother Christopher was doing and decided I would give it a try. After a couple of weeks, I decided this was it after having sugar and thinking I was going to pass out. My wife started in October and is having some success. Two weeks after she started, we started our oldest son on keto as well, although he leans toward carnivore. Starting weight, 304.6, new weight, 196 wow. pounds. Last, um, lost approximately 108.6 pounds. My wife and son have both lost approximately 20 pounds each. That's incredible. Whoa! <laughs> wow, Alex! Wow. You look fantastic! Wow. Wow! Gotta say it for these people in Way Kentucky, man. They go. send us like some stuff I don't really want to eat for like Fear Factory, but they knock it out of the park when it comes to doing keto. Well, and w yeah, because once you put your mind to something and you're like, I'm gonna do it and this is a goal, I love that, yeah. I mean, across the board, just like when we put our mind to something, we can do it. And yeah. I love that. Like, I, I want that spirit. Yeah. Like, that is good. It's so awesome. Okay, let's move into the comments from YouTube. Annie wrote, hey, Annie. my husby, hubby says he has to go first too. He can't live without Aww. me. You guys look amazing. I love you and your videos. I love that. I actually think that that's just a super romantic sentiment. Like I'm praying that we both go together. You're praying that I go first? Nope. I'm praying we go together. We're 120 years old and we just go in our sleep. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one is from Sarah. Hey, Sarah. She says, I tell my husband I get to go first too. We have been married 25 years and have been friends for 36 wow. years. I don't want to live my life without him. How romantic. <laughs> I love this. 
Okay, uh, next we got into, we were talking about vegetables. Like, okay. what, what kind of vegetables do people like? And Karen actually hey, put, Karen. my favorite veggies are broccoli and green beans. I've been doing keto since the end of January, and I still miss potatoes and corn. You know, everybody has something that that they miss that's mm -hmm. like the last thing that they get rid of. Right. What was the last thing for you? Um... I would honestly, I mean, getting away, aside from like the bad oils and stuff, I would probably say the hardest thing at first for me was potatoes. I mean, pre-keto, my favorite foods was like French fries. Like I would go to Five Guys and I just wanted their French fries. I didn't even want the burgers. I just wanted a bag of the French fries. Um, so French fries and bread was like some of my favorite things. So I was, I gave up bread pretty easily. Yeah. But uh, the French fries were probably the, the thing that took me the longest. And it was the last thing that I actually ate. So that Christmas when I finally made the decision, like I'm going, I'm never going back. Cause when I lost all the weight, I had said like, I'm probably gonna just for the most part be keto, but occasionally eat some healthier carbs, like a potatoes right. or something like that. But I was never gonna eat sugar again. And that Christmas I did have, that was my like present to myself was eating five guys fries. Was it a present though? And yeah. Number one, they didn't taste as good as I remembered because it had been like eight months. Isn't that always the case? And then, yeah, I didn't feel good. And that's what made me have this decision of like, I'm just staying keto forever now. And I don't regret it now, but it was definitely the hardest thing for me to give up was French fries. Yeah. So... Uh, next up is from Mary. Hey Mary, she says broccoli sauteed with butter and sprinkle of nutritional yeast. Yum. Yeah, if you're yeah. not wanting cheese, like nutritional yeast is a great option to put on there instead. Definitely. Okay, next one is from Gail. Hey Gail. Gail said, I love so many veggies, especially green ones. Uh, my thought was how can Joe ever get bored? Because I said I eat whenever I'm bored, right? Uh, so she said, you guys have such a full life. It made sense when he said he drove a lot. Yeah, so the two times that I struggle the most with snacking mm -hmm. is when I'm in the car. Right. And when I'm just sitting at my desk working on the computer. Yeah. Like, I don't have a problem even watching TV because usually you and I are there. It's like kind of an accountability thing. And I don't have a problem if I'm doing physical work. Yes. Or even when we go camping. But if you catch me just sitting down, doing a mundane thing, like working on videos, that's where I tend to want a snack. Or in the car, just driving. It gives me something to do. Because it's not a fast-paced thing. Like, every time we put out a video, it may be a 10-minute video, but it usually takes, like, quite a while for you to 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 edit it. Yeah, people don't understand that. The average video, like, each video is... Depending on the video, an hour to two hours of editing, like between color grading and sound correction. Keto on the couch takes us four hours for editing. Yeah. By the time you edit it and then put it up and then we got to preview it. So and, I, and I can get the boredom. That's a lot of snacking. Because sometimes I will go by your desk and I'm hearing the same 10 second clip as you're trying to work on right. one of those elements. And I think to myself, like, that would drive me nuts. Yeah. Like, that would just drive me nuts. <laughs> Uh, next one is from Lori. Hey, Lori. She says, Brussels sprouts prepared with bacon, walnuts, and real salt roasted in bacon grease and loaded broccoli are my favorite keto vegetables. I used to collect cookbooks. I had way too many, but don't tell my husband I admitted that. When we moved back in 2017, I gave a lot of cookbooks away or donated them to the local library. I did keep a few that were given as gifts or had sentimental value. I feel like we need to hook her up with Miriam. Yes, she collects cookbooks. Yeah, she does. Now... It's funny because I actually um, had a lot of cookbooks when I married Rachel. And mysteriously, I think a lot of my cookbooks got donated to Goodwill and stuff. I don't think I actually donated them, but I think that they did get donated. Well, I really like the idea of donating them to a library. And I don't think that people think about a library to donate them to, but that is awesome. Right. Because then, you know, they just, they go on and can be shared in your community. And wow, that's awesome. Okay, next up is from Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn. She said, my favorite veggies are Brussels sprouts and asparagus too. I like to toss them in a little olive oil with spices and then roast them in the oven. Yum. Adding a little bacon makes them even better. Adding a little bacon makes, makes everything, everything better. better. I saw somebody that had even cooked up like a little bit of cabbage but in bacon grease and then put some bacon bits in there. And I was like, yes, we need to do that. I am still trying to find that bacon grease that Costco sells, but yeah. our Costco doesn't sell it. And I want that tub of bacon grease. And for those Give of you who are asking, tub. why do you want to don't just collect yourself? 
I'll, I cook all our bacon on the Blackstone and that just becomes a pain Pours to out. go in there and it gets mixed with our burgers and our eggs. So I think that that's a great deal. Getting that tub of bacon grease from Costco and I don't have to filter it or clean or anything like that. We just can't find it. But. I can tell you one thing. That would have been at the top of my grandmother's Christmas wish list. Oh, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, next up is from Beverly. Hey, Beverly. She says, I'm hypoglycemic and I need to lose 25 pounds. How will I get started on keto? Okay, so we do have a few videos on how to get started and we've got a couple more coming out. But here's what I'm going to say. If you got to get started, especially if you're hypo hypoglycemic, the first thing I want you to do, cut out all of your sugar, cut out all of your breads and don't care about anything else. Just get rid of all the sugar, all the breads, like the starches, that kind of stuff. Eat as much as you want. Okay, so long as there's no sugar, no wheat, no bread, no starch, things like that. And you're gonna see a giant change right there. And then we can start working on other things, but spend like two weeks just getting rid of that stuff and you're gonna see a, a giant change in your diet. But don't forget your electrolytes. Yes. Uh, next up is from Leah. Hey Leah, she says, Dr. Cyrus's belief that snacking is always an emotional event has made me stop and think anytime I want a snack, why it is I am wanting to eat. It has definitely helped me make more aware of my, be more aware of my body versus mind signals. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I completely agree with Dr. Cyrus and I've had the chance to sit down with him and talk about that kind of stuff. And yeah, snacking is definitely an emotional thing. If you really think hard about why are you snacking, it's just because you want to feel good. Either, you know, hey, I want to eat something and I think it's going to make me feel good or maybe you want a piece of chocolate. That It's the taste that's going to make you feel good. But if you really, really honestly sit down and think about a snack, which is like maybe a cheese stick, is that really satiating hunger? It's not. No, it's not. And it's funny because, and Ask Nurse Cindy has talked about that also. Um, when, he, when I first heard him talk about that, I immediately went to going to Dunkin' Donuts to get my coffee mm -hmm. and thinking about it like that. I never need to go to a coffee shop to get my coffee. It is always a treat. I have a coffee maker at home. I have water. I have coffee. I can make it at home. But when I go to a coffee place, it's an extra thing that's making me feel special. Right. So if that's something that I no longer want to spend money on or it's not something that I want to do, I'm going to need to replace it with something else that makes me feel special, but something that, you know, I'm deciding on. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Decide I want to have this thing. Don't let it just happen to you. Right. Next one is from Healthy and Keto. Hey. Said, I've been adding hot tea lately. It helps me to avoid snacking. I love it. That's a bridge. Dr. Cywis talks about that. Like right. having a bridge to, to get you out of the snacking habit because there is a habit that goes with it if you're just used to it. I mean, going back to talking about going to Dunkin' Donuts, I will get in my car and my car will tell me, hey, you're going here, right? right because right. it's so used to you doing the same behavior. Right. So you need to replace it with something and that's a great bridge. Yeah, it goes back to the previous comment where, you know, it's it becomes an emotional event and it's gonna be very hard to stifle that emotional response that we want. So we want like, you know, a piece of chocolate or something or a, a meat stick or a cheese stick or something like that. But we don't want to eat those calories, but we want to get that same satiation for, you know, the response of it. So he says, use a bridge, which could be anything. It could be a cup of tea, a sip of coffee, a diet soda, something that is zero calorie, that is going to help you to feel like I just did something. It could be getting up and going for a walk, but just something to kind of give you a different reaction to what you were doing. And it really does help. It just takes like some training to work on it. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into the Facebook comments. Before we do though, let's take one more commercial break just to satisfy like all of the YouTube stuff. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Isn't that what Frosty used to say? Yes, but what made you think of that? I don't know. I was just thinking about snowmen and like when he'd put his hat on, he'd say happy birthday. Let's get into the Facebook comments. The first one is from Anne. Hey, Anne. Anne said, I hit the 75 pound and crossing 300 mark Yay. today. I started this at 375 pounds and I was 299. Point eight this morning. Way to go. That is an awesome achievement. That Fantastic. Is so awesome. 
Uh, next one is from Tina. Hey, Tina. She says, preferred glucometer. Is the new Keto Mojo worth it? I know they have a special right now for those who are trading in the old ones. My main concern is testing glucose. Trying to reverse type 2. Already dropped A1C from 7 to a 5.5. Way to go. First of all, yeah, that is a great drop. Now, if you're not concerned about ketones at all, if you're never going to be bothering testing with ketones, I wouldn't bother getting the Keto Mojo one. Uh, I just go to Publix or not to Publix, to Walmart and get one of the cheap ones. You can get the strips relatively inexpensively there. They even have some on Amazon. If you do want to test the ketones once in a while, I would definitely suggest taking advantage of their upgrade, which we did that review of it. And I didn't even know about that at the time where if you do have one of the old meters and you want to use the newer ones with the newer, cheaper strips that are individually wrapped, um, they do have a trade-in deal. Which is I don't good. know the specifics on it. So if you're going to use the ketones once in a while, I would suggest doing that instead of like buying another meter and then having the old one. But if you're never going to use it, I would probably just get one of like the $15, $20 meters you can get at Walmart. Sure. And they're all pretty good. Uh, next one is from Tamira. Hey, Tamira. She said, what is the best tasting keto bread? I hate the flavor of almond flour and I only eat 10 to 15 net carbs a day. So I really need a low carb count. I've moved to Lake Haversaw, Arizona for the winter and can no longer buy my Franz keto bread and none of the stores have keto bread. Well, I don't know you're going to find something that really fits that in the stores. No. Here's the thing. Yes, you can go to some stores and find some of these zero net carb Franken foods. They're not very good. They all have wheat. They may not lower your ketones. And that's the people's biggest argument. Well, they don't lower your ketones or they don't increase my blood sugar. That's not what it's all about. It also comes down to inflammation. And you're obviously trying to keep your net carbs low. And that's, you know, a good draw for those zero net carbs breads. But... They're Franken foods, like you said. And so if you really want a bread substitute, I highly suggest taking a look at like the ones from Fox Hill Kitchen mm -hmm. or even that one that we recently a reviewed. Cali California Keto? The California Keto one. I'll leave a link for that over Rachel's head. You know, they may be one or two carbs per serving, but they're going to have much better ingredients. And in the long run, you're going to be healthier with those. You'd rather be deducting that kind of fiber than some of the nonsense like wheat and stuff, which they're telling you can deduct, but I'm telling you is going to affect you. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Elaine. Hey, Elaine. And she said, hi, I wanted to tell you all I, knew, I found a new way to get out of the house. Have you ever heard of geocaching? No. When I go out geocaching, I feel like I'm on an adventure, not exercising. It's not walking or hiking or even bike riding. I'm treasure hunting. It's a way to notice everything around you to get a new area or even take on a second look at an area that you've already been familiar with. Wow. I bet you went past the geocache and never even knew that they were there. Some are tiny and some are large. In the larger ones, you will find treasures that you can trade out and find an item you like or replace it with an item of your own. Some have what's called a travel bug. It's a souvenir that wants to go somewhere. Oh. If you take a travel bug, you have to help it along its journey and scan the bottom and it tells you where it wants to go. It could be in Florida or it could be going to Tennessee to go see the Grand Ole Opry. You only remove it if you can help it along its journey. If you go geocaching at a historical site, you may have one that uses clues based on the data that you can find all around that you need to look at to, to find it. I want to let you know about this because it's helped me to get out of the house more and it's dragged my sister out of the house with me and I take my puppy. What is this? You've never heard of this? I have never heard of this. I have seen things about this before and I've never done it, but oh, it we're definitely doing it now. looks interesting. It's kind of like, like you like to go like Pokemon hunting with our yes. nephews. It's kind of the same thing. You pull up, it's got a special app. I'll leave a link for the, the app down below. And you pull it up. Is and that free? It, it sends you to coordinates. And you have to go and kind of like find, if you're going on these different searches How fun and finding enough. things and then it'll give you a clue and you go to the next one and then you go to the next one and then you go to the next one. Only you're using your phone to find the different things. That is awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I think wow. it's a great way to get out of the house. Heck yes it is. So next one is from Jennifer, hey Jennifer, and I loved this, and I wanted you to read it. Oh, she said, he's my reason, but I just can't help but laugh at how well he knows me. Hashtag accountability partner, and it looks like it is a letter from her child, Mommy, 
Remember keto, no chocolate for mommy. Keto, love you. How awesome is that? Is that awesome? That is super awesome. It doesn't matter who your accountability partner is, but wow. knowing what your why is, and we talk about this all the time, write it down, plaster it everywhere. What is your why? Why are you doing keto? Is it to lose weight? Is it to have better health? Is it to be around for your grandkids, for your children, for any relative? You yeah, know? it's no. really important to know what your why is. And I love when your why is also your accountability partner. How yeah. sweet is that? Okay, we have one more, and this one is from Heather. Hey, Heather. And she said, I failed, Joe and Rachel. I'm sorry. I'm on diabetic meds, and I need to start a little slower and taking on that big of a challenge. Now I feel bad. I do encourage others to continue, though. I love you all. And I was trying to calorie count and eat like a normal 16-8 day. That may have been some of the issue. Joe, you taught me something there. Well, first of all, Miss Heather, we love you and you have absolutely nothing to be sorry about. No. I mean, when I see you putting, I failed, we talk about this all the time. No failure. Like, let's try to not put labels on ourselves. That's why we don't like the term dirty keto because you're labeling yourself as a dirty person. That's why we don't use the word cheat meal because as soon as you say cheat, you're, you're a cheater. You're saying you're a cheater, that you're a failure. Listen, everybody has problems. Everybody falls off. Everybody, like, you know, can't do it the same way. When we got started, I ate so many Quest Bars, I can't even tell you. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. You do the best you can, and as you're going along, sometimes you can jump head in and, you know, be carnivore on day one. Other people have to take it slow and eat some, like, low-carb options and things like that. The key is to get started. And yeah. you recognize that this is a way of life that you need for your health. Take it slow. Do whatever you need to do to make it a way of life. And that's why we talk about all the time like keto products. Like some people hate them and think it's a bad idea to have them. Are they a crutch? Yeah. But without that crutch, some people will never even take a look at keto. Well, and here's the thing. This is not a race. It's not a competition. It's a journey. And every single morning that you open your eyes to a new day, it is a new opportunity to stick to your plan for that day. Okay. I highly recommend you don't see this as one big thing that you're doing and just take it 24 hours at a time. Because if you think like, well, as long as I'm perfect, I'm 365 days in the row on plan. But then if something like this happens where you go off plan, then yeah, you feel like, okay, well I blew it. I'm out of the competition. This is not musical chairs right. and like you didn't get a seat and now you're out. Right. This is every single day. It's a new 24 hours. Get back in the game. You, you've you got this. Right. And you're and don't ever think that you need to, to be sorry for, for making a mistake or for going off plan. We love you, and this is a brand new day, so just get right back in there, and you've got this. That's right. So, Well, that's going to be this week's Keto on the Couch. We really appreciate all of you guys supporting the channel and watching. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, there are 91 more Keto on the Couches, which you can watch by clicking on the link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find linked right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week. Bye. bye.